Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. FAA warns UAV pilots about flying in wake of Hurricane Harvey. Sushi delivery by drone now available in Iceland. AF graduates first female enlisted pilot. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The tragedy of Hurricane Harvey is still being documented at this time, but it's obvious that Texas has taken a huge hit from Mother Nature. We've seen some spectacular video from drone operators of the damage and its vicious effects, and we hope all those videos came about legally. But the FAA is putting the word out that unauthorized operations will be carefully investigated. The FAA warns unauthorized drone operators that they may be subject to significant fines if they interfere with emergency response operations. Flying a drone without authorization in or near the disaster area may violate federal, state, or local laws and ordinances, even if a temporary flight restriction is not in place. The FAA asks drone operators to allow first responders to save lives and property without interference. At the same time, there would seem to be a solid role for drone pilots to play in such national emergencies and a formal program defining how and where such operations may be allowed to contribute to the recovery, rescue, and documentation of such disasters would seem to be an excellent area to investigate. More info to come. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The Aero News crew is assembling an expert, if not eclectic, crew of drone pilots and reviewers to test and evaluate the latest in unmanned technology for the AMA Drone Report, as well as our Airborne Unmanned Program for AEVSI. Commercial drone pilot and FPV racer Casey Seelock is on board, as well as former AOPA president Phil Boyer, who has become a serious drone proponent. We're looking for your input on what vehicles, accessories, and products we need to evaluate in order to give you solid info on the products that interest you. Requests may be emailed to jim at aero-news.net. Australia is set to deploy a new tool in preventing shark attacks. The Shark Spotter drone will be deployed in September. The aircraft was developed by Little Ripper, an Australian drone manufacturer. When it was introduced earlier this year, the company said that trials have shown an excess of a 90% success rate in identifying sharks from the video feed and in distinguishing sharks from dolphins, rays, and other marine life. The FAA is investigating a report of a near miss between a drone and a Delta Airlines MD-88 flying about a mile south of Memphis International Airport. The pilot of Delta Flight 2067 contacted ATC at about 19.50 local time on August 7th to report a drone flying at about 1,700 feet. The FAA would not provide any details about the reported incident, so it is not known how close the airliner might have come to the drone if it was a drone at all. It's kind of folksy, but we had a good time talking to some of the FPV pilots at the 2017 Multi-GP race in Sebring, Florida, and getting their take on the trials and tribulations of FPV racing. Check out Fast, Small, and Exciting, an introduction to FPV racing in the AMA Drone Report YouTube channel at amadronereport.com. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. If you live in certain parts of Iceland, you can have sushi delivered by drone within about four minutes of placing an order. Drone delivery company Flytrex has teamed up with online retailer AHA for the service. While AHA offers a variety of products, the current focus with Flytrex is on sushi. Reportedly, when a customer makes an online order, they can request drone delivery. They will be given an approximate time that their order will be ready and notified via text message to their phone that the aircraft is en route. Drone delivery is particularly attractive in Reykjavik because of the challenges presented by the rivers and bays for delivery drivers. What the drone can accomplish in four to five minutes could take a driver nearly half an hour. So far, the drone delivery is only in certain regions of the city, and the aircraft don't fly right up to your house, 
the customer still has to go to a landing site and collect their sushi. The modified DJI Matri 600 can carry up to six and a half pounds and has about a two mile range. That's a lot of sushi. The Air Force's first female enlisted pilot completed undergraduate remotely piloted aircraft training August 4, 2017. Tech Sergeant Courtney is part of the enlisted pilot initial class. The Air Force has heretofore relied almost exclusively on commissioned officers to pilot its aircraft. In December 2015, the Air Force announced it would begin including enlisted airmen in its training to pilot RPAs. Twelve were selected and incorporated in the training program beginning October 2016. The 558th FTRS is the sole source of undergraduate RPA training in the Air Force. Quote, it's great to fill that role as the first female, Courtney said. It's awesome and humbling, but our units don't care if you're male or female. They just want you to be a good pilot. Undergraduate remotely piloted aircraft training is six months for RPA pilots who sit in the left seat of an RPA control center during flight and six weeks for their sensor operators who sit in the right seat and control cameras mounted on the RPA. This accomplishment expands Courtney's opportunities. Quote, I've been sitting in the right seat for a long time, so now I'm ready to sit in the left seat, Courtney said. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.